Welcome to Cartel Tycoon, folks. We are in the uncut earliest access build. So this is kind of an open beta, I guess. And we are going to start. I just started quickly yesterday uh, just to see that everything was working and it is. So we are going to start here and start. And I am looking forward to getting into Cartel Tycoon, see what has happened since we played the demo. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, if you're enjoying Cartel Tycoon, if you're enjoying the videos, why not leave a like and subscribe? And uh, also hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are coming out. It really helps me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. So let's see what we have going on here. I guess we are here in Chapa, uh, Chaparicha, I think it's pronounced. I'm not sure, though. We have Felix, who is our... Uh, well, we have our lieutenants here. So uh, he kind of is a lieutenant, though I would say that he's probably more like the Don. So, uh, Don, Don Bijo. And then we have Vanessa Diaz Venji uh, as a lieutenant and Hector as a lieutenant. And we can see that we have five power with uh, Felix. We have two power. This is for fighting for with Hector. And Vanessa, she doesn't have any power, so she's useless in a fight. But she's not useless as such. Now, we have... What do we have here? Okay, that's just the tutorial. I don't want time to fly just yet. We have some, what is this? Is it, it's opium. Okay, so that's new. I don't think we had opium in the demo. We only had cannabis. So we have opium and we can do vegetables as well. Okay. Okay. And we have two opium farms and an opium, uh, I think this is a plantation. Yeah, plantation, an opium plantation, which has been seized by the police, so we could, could buy that out. Now, there are three ways of exporting our products. We have an airport down here, which we, is ours and we can use, even though it's in the neighboring region, Foscani, which is controlled by an enemy gang. But we have the airport here, so... That is ours, and we can export there. There's also this is that this is the airport is the worst way of exporting drugs. Then we have the seaport, which is better, but we can only export legal products here. So we need to have a legal product like vegetables uh, to disguise our illegal product. And then over here in Rogandes we have a checkpoint, which is the highest capacity uh, export uh, place. And here we need to have um, uh, legal products as well. So we need to have, disguise our stuff uh, in some legal product. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I don't, I don't think this route is particularly efficient going down here so i think i want to build a road down this way so that our trucks can go that way and deliver to the airport now we have a warehouse here and it's heading to the aerodrome and it's also picking up automatically from our two opium farms because they are within its sphere of influence and even the village is in with, within the sphere of influence. So if you want to buy some vegetables or something like that, we can easily do that here and the warehouse will pick it up for us, I think and hope. Now, these two cost 12,000 each to buy out. And we have 90,000. Let's start by building a road. Uh, we'll build a road. Uh, I think coming down this way. It's 
go into this road here. And then I think we'll have, let, let's have a look at our farm here. So, because we don't want to use too much of the area where that we can produce opium. So I think we'll put a gravel road. We'll turn this into gravel road as well. Uh, and then we'll take here and come up this way and connect into this road as well. Okay, so we have some opium going out. They're going to go the wrong way for now, but next trip I think they'll go down this way because it should be faster, right? Now, there are some new uh, uh, mechanisms in the game. So before we had the terror, which uh, when you are fighting and stuff like that goes up, and it goes all the way up to the U.S. Army now. I think uh, the Federales was the highest level in, in the demo. Now we have National Army, CIA, and the U.S. Army as well. So we want to keep our uh, terror as low as possible. Then we have loyalty, which we want as high as possible. So, And we bring up loyalty by, for instance, purchasing stuff from a village. Uh, that will bring up the loyalty here. So, let's see. Down here in the city, we have uh, a taxi company, which launders our dirty money. Then we can buy something else. And I think we want a research center. Uh, because we want to research as soon as possible. So I think we are going to build that. And I don't think we need anything else right now. We have 8,400 uh, dirty money in storage here at our taxi company. And it'll launder 800, I think it's per day, but I'm not entirely sure if it's per day or if it's just, oh, eight hours, eight hours. Every eight hours, it will uh, launder 800. So that's a cap capacity of 2,400 a day. Uh, so that's not that much, but it's good enough for now. Now, I'm not going to buy these out just yet. I want to see what the production looks like with these two farms and see how much product we get stored up uh, down here in, in our aerodrome. So let's let time move on and we'll see. Uh, early morning, March 1989, Felix Vijo arrives at his taxi company in the center of Chaparicha with 30 money worth tens of thousands to launder. A bloodied Hector Alejandro Vijo, his face gray, crashes into the taxi company, Vanessa Diaz Venhi at his side. That fucking son of a bitch. Screws my language, but that's what it says. Hector, son, what's wrong with you? Let me help. Mm. Uh, thank you, Uncle. This needs a band bandage. Okay. Felix presses down hard on Hector's wounded arm with his handkerchief. Vanessa slumps against the wall. Uncle, I regret starting your morning this way, but fate controls how our mornings commence. Uh, although this time the decisions were all Almagros. So let me pour you some water and call the doctor. Wait a minute. Did you say Almagro? Yes, last night we were loading the opium onto the plane at the Foscani Aerodrome. Then out of nowhere we were under fire. The pilot quickly got the hell out and I don't blame him. Getting the fuck out of there was the best decision. Me, Vanessa and the other guys fought back. And do you know who we were up against? The fucking military! My dear old friend Almagro Torres. He has been trying to lure the military over to our side for years. I guess he finally coaxed them into joining him and left us out. You know, the strangest thing was, the spooks and camouflage disappeared with the first rays of sunlight. Like actual fucking vampiros. What happened to the others? You didn't miss a thing. What happened to the others? What happened to the rest of the buildings and our guys in the region, Hector? Uh, the moth disappeared. I don't know where, after they seized the residence. And the cockroach, well, it's all about over for him, but I've never liked the guy. With them gone, Hector, I'll need to make you a couple. You can recruit whomever you need. 
Uh, in this life, you can work with anyone from a mere cockroach to the devil himself. But you won't find any saints among us. You speak the truth, old man. Who are you calling old, an old man? Seriously, though, I'm glad you made it out of there, kid. Uh, we need to figure out what we have left and get the dollars moving again. But what about Almagro? We'll deal with him later. First, you need to restore cash flow. Yes, capo. All right. So that's what we're doing. We re we're restoring cash flow. All right. Let's uh, speed things up a bit. So yeah, our trucks are going that way right now. But hopefully they'll start going this way instead. We have 12 opium stored, 14 opium stored. These two trucks will deliver down here. So, okay. Now, do we have any money stored at the aerodrome here? Uh, not much. Tiny little bit. Let's uh, move you over here. And she's going to start delivering. Yeah, see, there comes a truck with 12 um, uh, opium. So she is going to deliver money to our taxi company. And she's just going to keep going back and forth doing that. So now we have 14 opium stored here. We can upgrade the aerodrome which I guess will increase its capacity which is a good thing so right now it has a carrying capacity of 26 opium uh, per day so that's what we want to be sending down there 26 opium no more no less So, slot 1, 14 opium, $1,274. We have 10 opium waiting, and we have 10 opium coming down as well. So, there we have it. The plane arriving to pick up some opium. And she brings the cash over to get laundered. Alright. And we have another 10 opium coming in. Here we have 8 opium coming down there, so that's 28 that we'll have down here. So I actually think these two are enough to um, to keep our aerodrome going at a reasonable rate. Uh, so this event here, warehouse seized. Police suspicions proved correct. They found illegal materials on your property and have temporarily seized your building. After the investigation period is up, you can buy your building back. Okay. Okay. So, I think... Uh, deliver dirty money from Aerodrome to taxi company in Chaparicha. Launder 35,000 of dirty months money into legal money. We've laundered 10,838. So... That's all good. Our aerodrome. Here comes a plane, and it picked up 18. So it's once a day that there is a, a delivery. So we want 26 opium down here every day. So this would be make it 26, but I don't think we have. I don't think we're producing enough opium to make the um, the aerodrome fully so see one day six hours left five hours left here it comes the plane and off it goes with eight that's not enough we need it to be picking up more so let's buy this out and we'll turn them on and you go down here as well now the plantation here produces eight opium every 14 hours this here produces two every 14 hours so the plantation is effectively four um four farms so that's much more efficient and very nice 
So that'll get some more opium going down here. So yeah, he went off with eight again, and there's eight in there, so we definitely need more. All right, he's coming with 12 now, good. We definitely need a lot more. Let's have a look at research. What do we want to research? Um, so we could go for Plantation 2. Could also go with Warehouse 2, which means that they get uh, a bigger service radius. No, the service radius is actually the same. But Trucks 3, Truck Size Small, and then it goes to four and a medium truck size and they also can go to a, an additional destination so that's kind of nice that is kind of nice drying rack uh what does that do move or stride cannabis so cannabis is something that i'd like to get into at some point we do need workshops but because we have uh, Felix here, we already have workshop one unlocked and we have a chemical plant We're not gonna need that just yet Aerodrome 2 So storage capacity 75 to 80 or up to a hundred But will it also increase the rate that Stuff is going out. I don't know and Then we have roads Right, so I think farm tier two is what I want to uh, research first. So let's go ahead and research that. That'll take four days. How are we looking down here? 24 went out there. Good. That's much better. And we now have 12 stored and there's 12 more on the way. And there's eight more on the way. So we might be producing too much now. No, doesn't look like it. 24, and it only went away with 12, so we're still not producing enough, maybe. We just might not be producing enough. Because here comes 12 more, and, okay, there's 12 more on the way. And this gear is not doing anything. I guess that's that truck, which will pick up some stuff. And I'm guessing 12. Okay. Now, I think the first thing I want to do is actually get Wogandes here and take this checkpoint so what can we do here talk to the mayor to acquire the city let's talk to the mayor they say that as the mayor you're responsible for everything in this region hello yes you're right about that uh, well then you need to know that i'm taking control of this region hmm, well this is a story i've heard a few times around here we're going to need to come to some sort of understanding i can negotiate with significant people but you will have to help me in return it's definitely no accident that you became a mayor. All right, name your terms. Uh, power of trust, increase loyalty to acceptance. All right. So that means that we need to buy stuff uh, from, from our uh, village here. So let's see, if we purchase some veggies there we go our loyalty goes up a little bit but we need to do that several times to get it up there right, so how are we looking here there's 12 down there it just went off with 12. Come on, let's get some more down here see there it's picking up the veggies and bringing them down here which is fine So that means that we could build a workshop. Uh, where is it? Buildings, uh, production, workshop. And we could package our stuff with uh, veggies 
and oh, it went away with 12 again, didn't it? Oh, there we go. So, there's 12 down there. And there's 12 more on the way. The question is if it will arrive in time, and I don't think so. It takes a long time to drive down here. Now, this warehouse has 42. Why are you not taking your stuff to the aerodrome? I want you to take your stuff to the aerodrome. Can you do that, please? Don't know why this isn't going to the aerodrome anymore. That's a little weird. Well, we sent 24 out there. All right, so let's take a look at farms. Uh, we want to see cannabis. We have no cannabis facility here. No coffee facility. Now, cannabis facility... There isn't really any up here either. Wow, cannabis is way over here. It's Los, in Los Grandes. There's not a lot of cannabis fertility anywhere. That's a little weird. We can build cannabis with a 30% efficiency. That's not very interesting, isn't it? Is it? I mean, that's just, that just sucks. So we're focusing on opium, that's for sure. Uh, Now, has this... No, it just keeps storing it up. I think we need to take control of this checkpoint. Let's send you up here. Uh, move there. Move there. Now, how much strength uh, do they have up here? They have three only. So that's not too bad. Why did he go all the way over there? Uh, let's open his profile. He has a quest. Uh, uh, not available for now, okay. But he can... Uh, we can upgrade him. So, access to warehouse 2, access to farm 2. We just unlocked farm 2. So let's take access to warehouse 2 and uh, promote him. So that'll cost a bit of money. So now we've promoted him. Let's have a look at her. She can't be promoted yet. I think this needs to come up. Kidnap a rich man and get legal money as ransom. Okay. Well, we bumped up Hector, so let's pause and we'll move Hector, proceed, and Felix over here. So Hector is driving a lot faster, which I don't like. Now our loyalty went down again. Why are you not delivering, delivering your opium to the aerodrome? I mean, can you please do that? All right, so now we're fighting up here, which means that the terror will start going up, but it won't go up very high because we are winning very fast because our uh, power is much better, bigger than theirs. So now we have control of the, the thing here, the, uh, the checkpoint. We are getting there with the money laundering, but it's very slow going. Our terror level didn't go up high enough that we got uh, the DEA's attention, so that's good. Now, I think we're going to have to build a uh, workshop here. It has a pretty large radius. I don't want it to be in there, so... Let's see, I think we'll build a workshop here, and then we'll put a road 
over here and a road up here. So this workshop is going to be doing opium plus vegetables. And then it's going to take it way over here to the checkpoint. So now that's going over there. We'll buy some more veggies. So now we are producing our uh, opium and vegetables here. Now the problem with this is that we don't own this city. So every time we want to move money down to be laundered down here, um, basically we're going to be paying him a bribe of 30,000 or 30% 30 of our money, which sucks. But it has a lot of opium, it has some vegetables, it's working nicely. Uh, we want to buy more veggies. Now over here we see, can see we have $273 in cat dirty money stored here. So that's not... We are starting to get some stuff going over there. And we'll just keep buying veggies as soon as we can to get our loyalty up here. More veggies. To get that loyalty up. Now down here, I definitely think that we can do more cannabis production for down here. So let's take a look here the farm we could build another farm a farm here let's do that and build a gravel road up there all right so that'll produce a bit more but it man it has a lot Let's pause a second. We basically need to upgrade our warehouse level two to level two. So let's do that. That gives it more capacity and it also gives it more trucks. So that's all good. Are we looking here? Warehouse is empty. Right, can we buy some more yet? Yeah, no, almost. Let's buy some of that. We, we're getting there. We're around halfway there to acceptance. So that's all good. And there it's bringing the veggies. And this is... Okay, so now we're bringing more opium down here. It has 18 stored. Where is the other truck? It's there. She's just keeping bringing money over here to be laundered. And we actually have a lot of money, a lot of dirty money, but it's sitting over here. So if we take Hector and say deliver dirty money down to there, then we can see he's bringing the 9,282 when he goes through the town here, 6,497. And we also get some, um, some terror for it, which is not great. Why are you going that way? Seriously. Okay. Well, it is what it is. There goes another 11 vegetables with 33 opium. That's worth 3,000 in cash. 
Oh, not bad. Not bad. Now, you need more veggies. Let's buy some. Where do we have vegetables? I don't know about anything else, but when it comes to making money, the two of us, we're pretty good. Vanessa and I are also good fighters. Well, Vanessa isn't really a good fighter, is she? Because she has zero power. Yeah, I left... If I left the business to you, I'd know it was in safe hands. Now, we need to at least partly restore the cartel. This was help, will help us ramp up production faster and kick Almagro's sorry ass out of Fascani. Yes, Hector, but this can wait. Right now, we need to find and hire, hire three more lieutenants. Okay. So, how do we hire lieutenants? Uh... Resource prices, that's not it. Lieutenants. Can we... There's no quest. Uh, how do we find... Maintain at least five lieutenants in the cartel. We have three. So how do we find some lieutenants? There's a, a thing here. You can lose control of Chaparicha. It's important that your lieutenant is present in the city, otherwise you may lose the region. Okay. Losing control in nine days. Okay, so we need to have a lieutenant in here. Uh, but... <sighs> he is going back and forth. And that's not good for the terror. Look at this. Bang. Terror goes up. So we're actually going to stop that delivery. He'll just uh, deliver the money uh, down here. And it goes that way. I don't get that he goes that way. So we have 18 there. We have 18 going out. Hey, Hector, stop that. Uh, stop delivery. Alright. Uh, you are missing opium. We need more opium. So let's do a delivery to over here as well. Uh, Hector, why don't you move down here to the city and make sure that we don't lose control of that. Okay, we have a lot of veggies, we're going to buy more, because we want that loyalty level up. So we want, yeah, we want it up to acceptance. Hmm. Okay. So it's going, it's going, and down here, it's going too, so 26 went out there, only 14 here. Uh, hopefully one of them is going, yeah, one of them is going down there, one of them is going over there. That's all good. That is all good. Let's see, uh, what else can we research? Mm. We could do the farm tier 3. We could also do the plantation tier 1. Let's research the plantation. It's expensive, but it's fine. I want the terror level to go down a bit there before we start anything. Buy some veggies.
Let's actually uh, upgrade this gravel or this dirt road here. There. That's better. Let's upgrade this as well. All right. That's better. Now Six, seven, eight stored. All right, so this is quite even at the moment. How much dirty money do we have over here? Eight thousand. Mm. All right, and here. Doing 18, 18. Hopefully that truck gets in there before. I don't think it does though. No. Oh, there's four stored up. All right, this is now empty. This is looking decent. We'll buy more veggies. Get that loyalty level up. Okay, you deliver money. down here so that's 7,000 that we're getting okay what's this works up storage is full it's kind of full yeah but all right what's this at residences, you can recruit new lieutenants for a cartel. In the hiring window, you can see the lieutenant's cost and ability. Okay, so we need to take this uh, residence. Okay. Well, we can do that. This is now overflowing. So let's uh, remove the workshop for a bit. Right, we got the plantation one. Uh, oh, stop delivery. Uh, move down here, and then we'll move Hector and Felix over here and take the residence, so that we can take over. This is looking decent. Buy some more veggies. We're almost up to acceptance. Let's move over there. Proceed. Move over there. Proceed. Okay. Now, let's get this done. Take that quickly, please so that our Terra doesn't go up too high. Let's speed up a second here. So I'm going to try to keep these episodes between 30 and 40 minutes long. All right, we took it, but we did get up to DEA level. Dang it. Uh, let's turn that on, recruit lieutenants. And who do we want to hire? You have no power. You have four. You have one. You have one. Okay, what about ability abilities? Burn building, kidnapping, more power, silent assassin, more power, dealer. Felix says selling price of cocaine at any border is increasing it by 30%. Not bad. And more power. So I think we're gonna get Tony here. What does she have? Deliver, make a deal with this character for various benefits. Okay, harvest and interval. Access to workshop. One power truck supplier adds two cars to the building to improve logistics. That's very nice. Robbery, raid the bank. Right, I think we're going to recruit her as well. Uh, what do you think of the new cartel members? 
Following your advice, I'm not looking for good people, just making sure they won't do anything bad to us. Yes, don't make the same mistake I did, mi querido. Now, I think you're, we're ready to correct my past mistakes. What do you say? Are you ready to plan an attack on the Almagro gang? That's an excellent idea. All right. I think I want to hire one more lieutenant. Maybe. Uh, let, let's wait. Let's wait. Uh, so, yours is now operating yet. It's not operating yet, but you can switch it on. In the, yeah, I already switched it on. So, what we can do with this is say here to here. And it'll pick up the money and deliver it to the taxi company so she doesn't need to do that anymore. So she can stop the delivery. And... Escucha. Let's see. Uh, he is a cannabis cultivator. He doesn't have anything. He gives us access to Warehouse 2. Make a deal with this character for various benefits. Let's try that. What's this about? Let's make a deal. Deliver 100 units of opium for a 10% bonus. Okay. Deal. Okay. So she needs to deliver... Uh, make a deal opium. Select them, make a deal, special order. After the deal is concluded, you can sell a specific product to a better, at a better price. Okay. Let's move you um, up here. We'll move Hector in here so we don't lose the city. We will buy some more veggies once we can. And we have a lot of dirty money in here. Ah, not that much, 6,000. So the dirty money is actually down here, I guess. Uh, it's in the bank. It's in the bank. All right. So what, what does Hector actually do? Where is Hector? Hector's there. He gives the access to the warehouse. Okay. Let's have a look at our list of lieutenants. So she is already a level two. Okay. Hmm. All right, you deliver uh, opium down here. How is this looking? This is looking just fine. And there goes our uh, trucks from our residence. So they're delivering the money now instead of her, which is nice. So she can actually move over here because she uh, has no power for fighting. Let's buy those veggies. Right, but we are out of time, guys. So this one ran a little bit over, but our, it's the first episode and I'm excited. And I hope you're excited as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying Cartel Tycoon. If you are, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.